friends, thank you for connecting. Thank you for joining in. Uh, we're talking about what God's word has to offer for us, particularly during the exam season. And today I want to talk about wisdom. Wisdom is, um, in, in simple words, it's the ability to make good judgments. It's the ability to apply whatever we've learned um, uh, you know, in our in our day to day life, or maybe in a task that we have been given, uh, wisdom is essential. Especially when we talk about um, the the field of education, there's so much learning that happens there. And so, uh, being able to have knowledge, grasp things, understand things, and apply it appropriately becomes very crucial. Now, what does the Bible have to say about wisdom? Here is some encouragement to all the students. Now, God's word says that he has the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And so we can approach God when we need wisdom and knowledge. God is the one who has treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So where do we go? Uh, when when we want this, we go to God. And uh, for us, it, it should be a practice for us to go to the Lord and ask Him because He He has these treasures of wisdom, and just ask Him to give us that wisdom in our uh, you know in in our journey in in our uh, walk with Him. There's another scripture in James chapter one and verse five. It says, "If any of you lacks," wisdom let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach and it will be given to him so we are told that since God has wisdom God has knowledge I mean think about it he made the the worlds so he knows everything um, concerning you know this universe we can go to him to ask him anything and this passage tells us ask God if we think that we lack wisdom or we don't have wisdom or we are in need of wisdom we can ask God we go ahead and ask him for wisdom and it also tells us God gives to all liberally it means that God is generous when it comes to releasing his wisdom into our lives and that is such an encouraging thought. God will give us wisdom when we ask for it and he gives it to us liberally. And the scripture also says without reproach or in other words, you know, he's not going to blame us. He's not going to push us away or call a uh, call, uh, you know, uh, call names or anything like that because he's a good God. He will give it to us when we ask him. And so just want to encourage us every day. Uh, we could pray based on these scriptures. I have another scripture that I want to share with us. This is from Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2. It talks about the Holy Spirit and it says, The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. So notice the Holy Spirit now, he uh, is resourced with wisdom, understanding, counsel, knowledge, even the fear of the Lord. And so God has what we are looking for. Let's just ask him and he will give it to us liberally. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us understand that our wisdom is with you, God. And Father, today we ask for wisdom uh, for everyone, Lord, uh, who, who needs it, especially those, Lord, who are going in for their exams. We pray that, uh, Lord, uh, you will cover them with your Holy Spirit, O oh God. And Lord, grant them, Father, understanding, counsel and everything that they need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that they are blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.